You are welcome to our online physics teaching series. Our topic still remains elementary two, and uh, it's a continuation of the video slide we have for you uh, in latent heat of fusion. And we are to so we are going to be solving the questions, the questions we have in that slide, example two point one to example two point three. And uh, let's see how to solve that. The first question we have here is. Determine the quantity of heat required to melt 150 grams of ice at minus 10 degrees Celsius to water at 15 degrees Celsius. Then you are given some parameters. Specific capacity of water, 4200 joule per kilogram per Kelvin. Specific capacity of ice, you are given that. Specific latent heat of fusion of ice is also 3.36 times per power 5 joule per kilogram. Now, you have to determine the heat to melt that ice. The mass of the ice, mass of the ice, M was given to be 150 grams. If you like, you convert to kilogram, which is going to give me 0.15 kg divided by 1000. You have this in kg. And the ice, initial temperature of the ice, T initial of the ice was given to be minus 10 degrees Celsius. Now, when you begin to apply this to a ice, Ice does not just melt immediately. The ice was initially at minus 10 degrees Celsius. So which means the first heat you apply, we, let's say this is the thermometer you place inside the ice. The first heat you apply will help you to change, let's say the, 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 the temperature of the ice was minus 10 degrees Celsius initially. Now, when you begin to apply heat, this temperature begin to rise. Let's say from minus 10, it jumped to minus 5. It jumped, that is, it begin to increase to 0 degrees Celsius. Now, when it gets to 0 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Celsius, melting begin to take place. Melting begin to take place. Which means from year to year, you are using, you are changing the temperature. There is heat. Specific heat capacity and there is specific heat that helps you to change temperature from minus 10 to zero because this involves changing temperature. But at this particular moment, there is no change in temperature. That is, at zero degrees Celsius, only melting takes place. Melting begins to take place at steady zero degrees Celsius. And therefore, the heat to, to do that is going to be a latent heat. It is hidden heat, which is latent heat of melting or latent heat of fusion. That is, latent heat of four years. Latent heat. Of fusion and after that after the whole highs have already melts to water then temperature begin to rise again from 0 to 5 to positive 5 this was minus 5 before this one turns to positive 5 positive 10 and uh, 15 degree Celsius degree Celsius the heat you also require from zero to this again is going to be another heat two. Let's say another this if this is heat one that helps you to change from minus ten to zero. Then the second heat is heat of fusion, heat of fusion which helps you to melt the ice. Fusion occurs at that moment. Then the last heat that that you require is the heat you require to do what to change the ice that is the melted ice which means the water to to 15 degree Celsius. Now, therefore, the total heat you require to do all this, the heat required, you say, therefore, heat required to do all this now, total heat will be equal to heat to raise the temperature, H1, plus heat to do what? To melt the height, heat of fusion, plus the heat to finally rise the temperature from 0 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius and that is going to be the H2 now how do you get the H1? H1 is the heat to change from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius and that is going to be MC changing theta that is 1 plus Heat of fusion. Heat of fusion, you don't need to change the temperature, it's just the latent heat of fusion that shows that heat that helps you to change the uh, state that change that melt, that is the heat that melts the ice to water is MLF. Plus your heat, the last heat is the heat that changes the temperature of the water, the melted ice, to 
15 degrees Celsius, which is going to be MC change in theta 2. And that will be fine. That will give you H total will give us F is common to everything. I can factor out M into C dt 1 plus L F plus uh, C dt 2. I hope you know the meaning of LF. LF is the latent heat of fusion of ice. C is the specific capacity of uh, ice. This C, the first C you have here because this was initially ice. And why this one is water? Because after the ice melts, it turns to water. So you have C of water here. Specific capacity of water, specific capacity of ice. So we can substitute every parameter we have into this formula. What is our M? Our M from the question which is 0 0.15 kilogram. Our C, specific capacity of ice. Specific capacity of ice was given to be 2100, 2100 uh, times, that is 2100, let's put this bracket, 2100 into bracket. Change in temperature of ice. Let's see the change temperature of ice, which is this. The temperature of ice changes from minus 10 to 0 degrees Celsius and change the temperature of ice will be 0 final temperature minus initial minus minus 10 degrees Celsius plus Ls of ice, latent heat of fusion of ice is given to, it was given to be 3.36 times 10 raised power 5 already and uh, times ice plus the specific capacity of water will give us 4200 into the temperature of water now. You know the temperature of water has changed from 0 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius and that's going to be 15 final temperature minus initial temperature that is from year to year. And that is what we have. We will now have 0 0.15 into 2100 times 10, 0 minus minus 10. Minus minus will give you plus. 0 plus 10 will give us 10. Plus, this 10 is for 5 times 3.3 Cs. That shows you are shifting decimal point 5 times. And that is going to be 3, 3, 6, 0, 0, 0. That is the meaning of, 0 point, that is the meaning of this. Plus, 4, 200. Let's do 4, 200 into 15 minus... 0 will give us 15. So we can close the bracket and that's going to be 0 0.15 into 21000 plus 336000 plus 4200 times 15. 4200 times 15. Let's see. That will give us 63. Zero, zero, zero. So let's add everything together and multiply by 0 0.15 into 2100 plus this plus this. Everything will finally give you 420,000. 420,000. So 0 0.15 times 420,000 will give us 63,000. And it is it, total it, Joe. Or you can simply say 63. If you divide by 1000, that will give you kilo joule of it. It's required to do that. Now we move to the next question, question 2.2. Example 2.2. Determine the resulting temperature. The resulting temperature, if Determine the resulting temperature. Determine the resulting temperature if 150 gram of ice at zero degrees Celsius is mixed with 300 gram of water at 50 degrees Celsius. We have two combinations here. Yes? We are mixing ice with water. Ice at zero degrees Celsius, which means it's just new ice it has not been uh, very super, it has not been uh, uh, too much freeze 
and is mixed with 300 grams of water at 50 degrees Celsius, which means this water was initially at 50 degrees Celsius, a kind of hot or warm water, while the ice was 0 degrees Celsius. So we can see that this warm water will lose heat for the ice. This warm water will lose some specific heat, and that specific heat will be used by the height, will be used to melt the height, that is 150 gram of ice. Let's write the parameters. We should know, let's write what, we, what I said. I said, the heat lost, heat lost by the warm water, by the warm water, warm water will be equal to the heat required required to melt to melt the height to melt the height that is the latent heat what i'm saying is that heat loss by the water will be h of water equals to the heat required to melt the height is heat of fusion now let's write out the heat of each uh, of the warm water it's going to be what? MC change in temperature of the warm water, which will give us, this is for water, 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 which will give us M of ice, the height we melt, then latent heat of fusion of the height. Now, what is the mass of the water? The mass of the water, the mass of the water was given to be. One fifth. I mean, the mass of the water was given to be three hundred gram, which is okay. Before we do that, let's open what we have here. M water, C water. Change the temperature of water simply means T final. I mean T. The T final minus the initial uh, temperature. But we, we we should know that this temperature of water will reduce by the height. Because the height was initially cooled, very cold. And that is why the temperature, you don't expect the temperature to be higher than 50 degrees Celsius. It should be lesser. And that is why we are going to have 50 minus T final. Minus T final, I can call it T2. Everything will be equal to mass of the height multiplied by the latent heat of fusion of the height. Mass of water in the question was given to be 300 grams. Or 0 0.3 kg. Mass of the height was given to be mass of the height was given to be 150 gram, approximately, or the same thing as 0 0.15 kg if you divide by 1000. So we substitute everything we have into this equation star star. So you will have your MW mass of water 0 0.3 times the specific capacity of water is a constant, and that was given from the first question, 4,200 into 50 minus T2. And this will finally be equal to our Mi, the mass of ice, is 0 0.15 times the latent heat of fusion of ice was initially given in our previous question as 3.36 times 10 raised power 5. 10 is power 5. 10 is power 5. 3.36 and 3 is power 5. Now let's open this. If we have, uh, if you have, let's multiply. If I have 0 0.15, I mean 0 0.3 times 4200, let's see. 0 0.3 times 4200 must give us 1260 into 50 minus t2 0 0.15 times 3.36 let's do this this is 0 0.15 times this is, this is 3.36 times 3 power 5 i told you you have to shift decimal point five times you shift decimal point is 3.36 times 3 power 5 standard form tell you that this is 3.36 shift decimal point one two three four Five. Then fill the remaining part with zero. That's why we have three three six zero zero zero. 
And that is the same thing we did the other time. Now let's open the let's open the bracket. 1260 times 50 will give us 1260 times 50 will give us 63,000. 63,000 minus 1260 times 52. 1262, which is the final temperature. Now 0 0.15, 0 0.15 times 336. I mean 336000. Let's do that. 0 0.15, one of the zero, we cancel one of the zero. Then we finally have 60. Now it's 544. Zero has already cancelled zero. You are you are left with 100. 504 that is 50,400. Now we collect light hands to make C2 the subject of the formula. Let this one come to this side. We have 63,000 minus 504,100 equals to 1262. This becomes positive by the time it moves to the other side to cross the bridge. This one also crosses the bridge to be, so become negative here. This minus this. 63,000, 63,000 minus 50400 will give us 12,600, 12,600, 12,600, which should be equal to 12062. Now, if I divide both sides by 1260, divide both sides by 1260, divide both sides. By 1260, you will left with 12600 all over 1260 equals 12060 T2 all over 1260. And 1260 cancel 1260. 1260 also cancel 1260 here to main 1. And that is why you have 10 equal to T2 or T2 equals to 10 degree Celsius which means when you miss this at this proportion when you miss high 150 gram of ice at 0 degree Celsius and uh, 300 gram of water at 50 degree Celsius the final temperature is bound to be 10 degree Celsius let's move to the now we expect you now to solve example 2.3 for me now try it you see, the question is just a piece of copper of mass 300 gram. A piece of copper of mass 300 gram at 950 degrees Celsius. You have a piece of copper of this. is quickly transferred to a vessel of negligible ca its capacity, thermal capacity, containing 50 gram of water at 25 degrees Celsius. If the final temperature, I mean, final steady temperature, of the mixture is 100 degrees Celsius. Calculate the mass of the water that will be boiled away. You should know that it's very simple. You should know that it's very simple. If you do that, you just you see that uh, the copper, the piece of copper, will lose heat. You know that heat lost by the copper, heat lost by hot copper. Copper, copper will lose heat to become 100 degrees Celsius finally and uh, will be equal to the heat to change the temperature of the water. Initially, you have 250 grams of water at 25 degrees Celsius, so it will rise to 100 degrees Celsius, which means you will need heat to rise the temperature of water, heat to rise, rise temperature of water, temperature of water to 100 degrees Celsius. This one is heat loss by copper to change from 950 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius. Then plus the heat to finally boil, heat to boil, to boil, that is heat to boil the water. Heat to boil water. You know, heat to boil water, boil water. Or heat of vaporization, that is to vaporize water. By the time you substitute this, you just have M copper, C copper, the T of copper should give you heat that rises water will be M water, C water, change the temperature of water, plus heat that boils the water will be just be M water, 
and uh, that is M of the sin. What are to sin now? What has to what are to sin? M of the sin that is produced, the sin will be produced. M of sin that is produced, then F of vaporization, latent heat of vaporization, and that was given in the question. By the time you substitute everything, change the temperature of copper, copper changes from 950 degrees Celsius for copper, the T of what uh, the T of copper is 950 minus 100 degrees Celsius, if you know that, and that will give you 850 degrees Celsius. That of water, the T of water will give you, uh, water was initially 25 degrees Celsius and it rises to 100 degrees Celsius, so it will give you 100 degrees Celsius minus 25 degrees Celsius, and that will give you 75 degrees Celsius. So substitute everything we have here. Mass of water, mass of copper was given 300, Mass, everything has been given now. The specific capacity of copper has been given 400. And uh, everything you need. Just make MS, the mass of the steam, is what you are looking for. Mass of the steam. And you submit it for me immediately after this class. Thank you.